Rattle. Dude, there's nothing like SRT. No. There's nothing like SRT. <laughs> everybody and welcome back to my channel if you guys are a new viewer definitely think about subscribing and hitting that notification button every time I upload you guys will get that notification I serve pretty much all of New England from southern Maine to southern Vermont all the way out to Worcester County in Massachusetts New Jersey and Rhode Island I don't get that many people from New Jersey but I get a lot of people from Rhode Island Massachusetts and northern Connecticut for fender rolling. My channel is an SRT4 channel. I do neons, calibers, PTGTs, fender rolling, and my vacations. But I don't do that many vacations because I'm always busy, I'm always working. In this video today, I'll be doing a little bit different twist to my channel. I'll be going and doing a rear quarter panel fender roll on a, not sure what year, Chrysler 300 SRT8 full swap. I want to bring you guys this because the fact that when I did his front fenders, I didn't realize that my road mic was not plugged in. Yes, the cord was plugged into the camera, but you can't hear anything. So I do have a bunch of clips that I will be putting in this video throughout the process of my video, movie, whatever you guys want to call it. I'm on my way to Jamaica Plain out in Boston. I thought, why not bring you guys a video of an SRT swapped Chrysler 300? I might just introduce you guys to him. I might just start doing the fender roll and then break out the video, but we'll see. Three, two, one. All right, we're about 900 feet away from the destination. I'm hoping that I don't have to do it on the side of the street, but we'll see. Gotta figure out where it's at, you guys. So bear with me. Might be in here. Maybe not. I don't fucking know. I don't know. Is it here? Nope. Okay, let's try to figure this out. Alright, just gotta figure out where he is and where this car is. What up, man? I'm at the end of the street. Where you at? Is there a brown big brick building? All right. It's a little nippy out here, guy. It is, it is. How are you? Yeah, good, how about you, brother? Dude, we're gonna get this video on. Yes, yes, it's yes, not yes, like last time, video. you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, of course, of course. All right, guys, so this is Brian. He has the Chrysler 300 SRT8 swap. Hey, hey, this is my, my homie right there. Right. Yeah, what up, man? Oh, how are you? Mike. Cruz, man. Nice, nice to meet you, you. man. Yo. Oh, you've been pulling down a little bit? I um, actually raised it, and uh, it's like I said, um, so long story short, the spring was put on the wrong way. Upside the down? Yes. Oh. The mount, the mount of the spring was put on upside down. So it, it kind of like lifted it a little bit. Yeah. So once I did the, 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 the new cord over setup, we put it on right. Okay. And uh, it drops significantly. So um, okay. it's actually to the, as you can see, you can see the tire that it drops. Yeah, it's not that bad. I had some guy actually earlier where his, his was like actually embedded into the side wall. And I'm like, bro, you gotta switch up the tire. But mind you, he has some huge sidewalls, and I was like, uh -uh. Okay, that's right, yeah. But, you guys, I have done the front on this car before, and I knew you were going to hit me back up. So, this is the roll I did a while back. How's that treating you? Still the same. Yeah? Beautiful. Still good? Yes, sir. Damn, dude. I always like seeing this car. Thank you, thank you. you need that carbon fiber lip, though. Oh, man. <laughs> Things are coming, brother. Trust me. All right, guys, so I'm going to back my Prius up into that little cutout and I'm gonna get to the fender roll and then I'm gonna do a walk around of the SRT8 swap, Chrysler 300 SRT8 swap. Don't get it twisted, it's not a regular SRT8, but he is doing the full swap, but let's get into this fender roll. All 
All right, since this is a fender roll, I might as well show you guys a little bit in depth on what I just did to his driver's rear quarter panel. I just finished up and you can see my roller head is nice and flush, right? So you guys can see how slim and tight my roll is. Let me just go ahead and grab my, my light. You guys see that? Very, very tight. So what I had to do is I actually had to take some of this off. You can actually see this inner splash shield sits behind. So what I had to do is I had to cut it a little bit. He's totally cool with it because of the fact that I did that actually in the front too. You can see a little bit of rust right there, a little bit of hairline fracture because of the fact that there is rust underneath the paint and that happens you know obviously over time in here his rocker panels are already rotten out so we just talked about doing outer rockers sometime next year in 2021 that is it you guys you can see how flush it is and flat he did have some compromission right here and i did let him know there was some hairline fractures but they did not open up it's just that rusty area right there i'm gonna go ahead and finish this side up and i'm gonna move over to the passenger side <laughs> All right guys, quick update on this. We all know that Neons have uh, like a foam behind the quarter panel. Now, I noticed that he had a lot of bubbling right there and he also has Honda cancer, but obviously this isn't a Honda, but yeah. Um, so I stopped right there and as I got closer to it, it split open just a little bit. So he knows about it prior to me rolling it. This is nice and flush now. I really wish I could have my rubber hammer and flatten it up stupid, but it is flat. You know what I mean? That side's all tight. We have this side all done. I just got to go ahead and tighten those. And then we can get into doing the overview, walk around and start up and all that stuff. So stay tuned. Let me, uh, all right guys. So I actually had to help him with installing this injector number two and i'm gonna tell you guys right now it's not fun but me and brian are gonna go over this car real quick and let you guys know what he's done to it and whatnot so i'm gonna let you go ahead and finish taking over this video and explain a little bit about your 300c srt8 swap so sure, sure man i mean it's 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 what it is i bought it as a completely bone stock 300c it's a 2006 i bought it with a little under 87,000 miles. Long story short, uh, I had a, I had the computer go bad and it ended up hydro locking my engine, uh, the 057. So I just ended up, you know, I said, you know, I'm gonna go full send. You know, and I, uh, I sort of started with 6.1. I, I did everything else, the transmission. Like I said, the only thing that needs to be changed is the differential and the brakes and there's big plans for that. Now, do you have that? I do have it in the storage, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I have everything ready. What are you tuned at right now? So, um, I have somebody over in uh, Australia, actually. Australia? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Dude, I, I have him do a little couple things here and there. Um, so, it's full bolt-on, intake headers, exhaust. Uh, it has a scat pack exhaust uh, uh, with, um, I think it's pipe works. I might be wrong. Catless we'll link that in the description, you guys. He'll tell me later. <laughs> Catless mid pipes. Now, what's your future plans with it? Go enforce induction. Uh, more, uh, do the whole Hellcat uh, brake system, Hellcat rear end, um, and a bunch, a bunch of more other things to come. And what do you got? How many miles you got on it now? So right now, uh, I'm, I haven't even hit 100. Uh, I'm at about 95,000. And what year? This is a 2006. 2006, huh? And guys, this thing's a beast, and I'm telling you guys, the other day when I did the front fenders, he took off and it was retardedly loud. And I had that in a video, at the end of the video, him taking off, but it was more like the end of the video type ending. So hopefully we'll be able to have them start this up but we're gonna have him pop the hood and we're gonna show you guys what's under the hood and he can explain a little bit more you know we don't see a lot of these 
300s and or SRT8 swap. So it is crazy to actually be able to show you guys on my channel. It's a little dirty. The daily driving anyway, so yeah. yeah. Everything is from, like I said, off of SRT. Okay. Yeah. Now, it was just like straight up slapped it in the engine bay and call it a day? So luckily, yes, it's, it's mostly plug and play as long as it's on the V8 platform. Okay. Yeah, you know, harness is still the same harness. It's still, uh, you know, take off the MDS harness, you know, things like that. Uh, full coilover su uh, uh, suspension I have from uh, Godspeed. The mono SS's, love the ride on them. And this fuel rail? That's a uh, BBK fuel rail. BBK fuel rail. Yeah, you know, uh, a bit of catch can. Yep. Um, you know, I got the uh, the silicone hoses and stuff like that, so. And that's by OBX, huh? A lot of people will be rocking OBX. Yes, sir. And you got the lower. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is. Like I said, it's a little dusty, but it's a daily driven car. Yeah. I don't, I don't hey, believe in garage. Hey, look at this. What's this? <laughs> that's just a rag, man. Just to check the oil. Just in, every just time. in case. Just in yeah. case. You know? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Now, good. what type of suspension you said you have on here? These are Godspeed Mono SSs. All right. All right. Now they are fully adjustable, right? Fully adjustable all the ways. Uh, 15 way adjustable dampers, uh, adjustable spring, you know, shock body in the rear. Yeah. All that good stuff. So what's interior wise? It's not a matter. Interior is pretty stock. Swapped in the SRT dash on it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Cause I haven't. I literally haven't seen. Oh, you got gauges up there, yes, huh? Yes, I have my uh, wide band gauges. I'll show you the cold start. Yo, yeah. All right, guys. You want to hear a cold start? We all want to hear a cold start. I know you guys do. Mind you, guys. This is loud. This is loud. Oh! Wow. Wow. Ah! Wow, bro. Wow. Wow, that thing is retarded. <laughs> is it daily driven, right? Daily driven. Daily driven. Every day, snow, rain, whatever. Wow. I don't believe in garage queens. I drive my cars. Wow, that thing is retardedly loud. I remember when you took off, mm -hmm. that thing was just stupid. <laughs> In the future, I will obviously be giving you guys an update on his 300C. But I just got to end this video. That's Brian, you guys. If you guys are interested in following him on Instagram, link is in the description below. And until next time, guys, be easy. Peace.